Many of us know Mark Rothko for his stark yet beautifully colored paintings, but a new exhibition of more than 100 works on paper gives us new insight into the breadth of his creative process. Hi, I'm Robert Aubrey Davis, and my best bet is Mark Rothko, Paintings on Paper. If we know Mark Rothko's work at all, it's almost certainly the many paintings with blocks of color, like in the newly renovated Rothko room over at the Phillips Collection. But Rothko's almost 1,000 works on paper are revelatory. Mark Rothko Paintings on Paper gives us a window into the artist's evolution with more than 100 of these works, some of which have never been seen before. In this exhibit, you see how Rothko's admiration for artists like Cezanne and Matisse is reflected in his own work. He studied architecture, Greek and Roman mythology. He admired Rembrandt and was mentored by Milton Avery. All these building blocks somehow led to the expression for which he is famous and which continues to draw us to him and his vision, those big blocks of color. This wasn't an attempt at making an abstraction, but a way of calling out to our humanity. I'm interested only in expressing basic human emotions, he said. Rothko insisted that these works on paper skip the frames that can sometimes overshadow the artwork itself and was famously particular about where his work was shown. All this was in the cause of giving us, the viewer, something memorable. As he said, a painting is not a picture of an experience, it is an experience. Mark Rothko, Paintings on Paper, is on view at the National Gallery of Art through March. And for more information, simply check out the museum's website. I'm Robert Aubrey Davis, and to catch more of my Around Town Best Bets, be sure to subscribe, and thank you for watching. For more Around Town Best Bets, visit us online at weta.org slash bestbets.